Hello scholars, my name is Miss Anderson and I am going to show you some tricks that you can use whenever you see a presentation in Epic Ed. So first of all, let's look at Google Slides. So here I am on an assignment that has a Google Slides presentation. And you'll notice that there's not much information on this slide. I have to see more information. So what I can do is I can click right into the presentation itself to move that slideshow forward or I can click in this arrow right down at the bottom left and when I hover my mouse over it it says next so I can click next now you may notice that some things have a lovely blue font and it may be underlined that indicates that there is a link inside this presentation in this case there's a link to Sora our online library so I can click on this link and it opens up Sora now it may open up in a new tab so you may have to go back to the epic ed logo that says EE and I may have to go back to my presentation here all right, so clicking through your presentation may also have images that are linked. So in this case, I have a link. It says, click me for the Sora link. So in order to go straight to this book in Sora, all I have to do is click this image and it will be taken straight to that book in Sora. And again, it opens up in another tab. So I have to go back to the EE tab right here to get back to this presentation. Now, sometimes Google Slides have videos that are embedded inside the slides. So all I have to do to watch the video is I have to click this play button. There we go. Now, sometimes the videos may be too small for you to see. And so what you can do is you can click on full screen right here. So when I click on that, it expands it to my full screen. Now, what if, oh, that's too big. I need to shrink it back down so I can still see my presentation. What I can do is I can hit the escape key. And the escape key on your keyboard is usually at the top left. Or I can click the bottom right hand corner where it says exit full screen. All right. Now these three dots here on Google Slides, if I click that, I can click the auto play button and I can manipulate how often my slides go forward. So every five seconds or every 30 seconds. And that way you don't have to click. It will just automatically go for you and you can loop it so that you can see it more than once. You can also turn on a laser pointer like I have so that you can see your mouse a little bit better. You can also enter the full screen. So if you want to see the presentation really big, you can enter the full screen. If you want to take it off full screen, like I said, you can hit the escape key, the ESC key at the top left of your keyboard, or you can click those three dots and then exit full screen. Clicking on those three dots again, you can also open any speaker notes. Sometimes your teachers may have left speaker notes for you. They type at the bottom of the slides and they have some notes for you. Oftentimes not, but sometimes they do have some speaker notes for you and you can open those up down below. Clicking on the three dots again, I can click more and then I can open it up as a PDF and download it to my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to download it as a PDF and it's going to download onto my computer. And from here, I can actually print out a presentation so that I can draw on it. I can make some sketch notes maybe. And so that is a really great option if you like to work with paper and pencil as well. Now I'm going to scroll down a little bit so I can see this presentation. Sometimes Google Slides are interactive. And so this one is from pre-K. And so I'm going to click through my slides. This has some discussion topics for me and it has a Sora link as well. And when I click through, let's pretend that I read the book from Sora and it's asking me who was the main character of the story and I am going to click on the picture. Let's see who is the main character of the story. I believe. Oh, am I right? No, nope, it wasn't that one. So it will automatically take you to a slide that helps you go through the story. So I'm going to click back here. Oh, I think it was this character. And then I click on this arrow to go to the next question. What were the characters waiting for? 
I think the book title was about rain, so I'm going to click on rain. There we go. And now it says click the Epic Ed logo to show what you know. So I'm going to click that logo and then it has directions for me. Awesome. So those are some Google Slide tips for you. Now I'm going to show you things in presentations that are not Google Slides. So I'm going to hit my back button and I'm going to show you a little bit of that. So I'm going to scroll to this presentation here and this is not a Google slide, but it does have audio narration. As you saw just now, it said this is better with audio. And so I'm going to click on this little button right here. Hello, we are going to talk about how to understand what you read and active reading skills. All right, so if you see that notification, this is better with audio. It means that your teacher has left you some vocal feedback. It means that they're going to talk through the presentation with you. And so you can click that lovely button right here with the audio to hear your teacher's voice. Now this type of presentation is a little bit different and so you may see this little button right here or you may see some arrows for you to click and those arrows may pulsate for you but either way you can click on that to see the next page and as you can see this one has arrows for you. Now if you click these three dots you can also see how many pages are left and you can also show the pages right here and click on which page you need. You can also expand to full screen right here. Again that was in the three dots that I just clicked right there. This also works with the escape key at the top left of my keyboard. If I click the escape key, I go right back to the shrunken screen. Now, sometimes things are not quite in a presentation, but you may have to scroll to see everything. So I'm going to go to the seventh grade syllabus. And you may see something like this in your courses as well. So as you can see, I have a long infographic and oh, I can't see everything in the infographic. So if you notice that on your screen, it just means that you have to take your mouse or take your finger if you're using an iPad and just scroll down. And so I'm going to scroll down and I notice now I can see the rest of the infographic. So those are some tips and tricks with Google Slides, with presentations, and with infographics. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to your teacher for help.